Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Park Rovers and we're at the Wilderness Run Alpine Coaster here in Banner Elk, North Carolina. Let's check it out. So we're on the side of the Tyne Castle Highway and you can see they actually have a car here from Wiegand, the manufacturer. It's kind of cool to see this out. And also a sign that says they operate in the rain and the snow. On the website they say the parking lot is pretty small and it's actually bigger than I thought. I'm the only car here right now, um, but there are a lot of spots, but I could see this filling up quickly. And by the way, back there, they have an adventure course with some separate parking. So right up the parking lot is this lodge here where I assume we'll be getting our tickets. They'll probably have some merchandise, maybe some tasty treats. I don't know. We'll see what's up there. All right, here we go up the steps. There is a handicap entrance on the side there too. We're on the second level. You can see wheels are turning. There's a nice little patio out on the second floor and it looks like they have a cafe. It's closed at the moment, but I think that'll be open soon. And now we're on the third level, and this is where you can buy tickets and you can see where the loading station is and the cars. It's like you get a shielded experience on the ride, which will shield you from rain or snow. Today we might get rain, but you can see the lift hill here. Oh. And here's the, here's the elevator, so if you do need to park in a handicapped spot, it's right here. And here's the re-entry into the loading station. You can see staff parking right here, so it looks like staff have to <laughs> go under the coaster track to get to that parking lot. It's pretty cool. And right through the coaster track, you can see some of that ropes course, that adventure course I was talking about. Okay, it is time to buy tickets. It looks like a bundle with three rides is $35 for an adult. And a youth bundle is $29 for three rides. And a child bundle is just 12 bucks. And a single tickets, $14 for adults. $13 for youth, which is seven to 13 years old. And a child, is five bucks that's three to six years old by the way here's what the ticket looks like so you get a little souvenir we just bought our ticket and here is the gift shop i like these hats here 24 dollars on the snapback they got a lot of sugar mountain and appalachian trail banner elk merchandise These hoodies are pretty cool. Got the the stamp on the back. Forty eight bucks on the hoodie. And they got an entire boat right in the, the middle of the gift shop. And of course, there's a pressed penny machine here. Four different designs. The employee selling tickets recommended going down at least once with no breaks. So that's what we're going to do. We might do that every single time, but I kind of want to take at least one leisurely stroll. Okay, it is time for my three rides. I'm going to switch to my action camera and uh, then we'll jump forward and I'll let you know how it is. Right, push those handlebars forward. The further down those handlebars are, the faster you go. Going back, you want to slow down, just don't stop, all right? Awesome. Let go. Right to chip the hill all by itself. You don't have to do anything going up. Just make sure you start pushing forward at the very top. All right. Any questions? Nope. Just do it by itself. Enjoy. Thank you.
Well, I just completed my three rides on Wilderness Run. This was a lot of fun. I love this coaster. Um, so Lift Hill is definitely by far the longest part of the ride. And then once you get up, you are free to not use your brakes at all. So you just push forward on your car and uh, you do get some friction around some of the turns and there's a couple of airtime bumps. And overall, just a fun ride. I definitely recommend buying the bundle and doing this three times because you get to stay on, you get to stay on the car. And uh, that's pretty convenient because this line doesn't exist right now, but it can get long, especially on a nicer day. We're here in kind of a overcast, rainy situation. One thing I didn't expect was that you can actually buy your on-ride video. So there's actually a camera that's recording you the entire time you're on the coaster, and then you can buy it after. Um, and it costs $12.50. So I'm gonna be inserting some of that video of myself into this video. And of course I had to visit the coffee shop. When it was open, I got myself a dirty chai. They do have an assortment of coffees, cold brew coming soon. And uh, they also have some homemade pastries. And for the record, this is the parking lot at 1051 on a rainy overcast Sunday. Actually, it was not raining at all on the ride, so that was good. Overall, this is a fantastic standalone attraction here. Highly recommend making the trip and getting your mountain coaster credit, whether you count them or not. So that's it from Wilderness Run. We had a great day here and we've got our fuel for the road and we're going to go off to the next place. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.